All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to day 17 of training. It is currently 6.48 a.m. and we are driving to Roman Ball. Everything is on time, uh, which is nice. I, it's probably the first video where I've been going to Roman Ball on time. Yeah. So we should get there about 8 a.m. Uh, very, very tired right now. I didn't sleep quite as much as I would have wanted to, but that's all right. Um, today should still be pretty fun. Yeah. It's like 34 degrees outside. It's pretty cold, which is nice as well. Definitely what you want. So today's plan, um, we get there, we meet up with Matt and maybe his friend Chris. And, uh, and then after that we hike in and go to Reservoir Dogs at Beat Town. Actually haven't, oh, I've worked Reservoir Dogs a little bit. Uh, it doesn't suit me super, super well, but you know, anything can happen today. I'm just gonna give it a good try. Uh, Reservoir Dogs is Matt's project. He's done the crux move from the bottom, so he's super, super psyched on it, which is awesome. Then afterwards, I think we're gonna go to French Maid and try uh, the French Maid and the Butler. Yeah, which is also pretty sweet. There's another like V10 minus on there that we, I might try, but it's like a slab V10, so you know, I don't think so. But you never know. And then after that, we'll probably hit up some um, like well-known places, some like you know, just like classic boulders and stuff, because Chris has never been to the vault before. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I was driving and got distracted. Um, I guess someone just pulled out in front of me, which is not what you want. Anyways, um, yeah, no, so that's today's plan. After that, we go to the gym and do my hangboarding routine, just like normal. Hopefully today is not going to be super, super, like, uh, like exhausting on the fingers, because I'd really, really like to get a good hangboarding session in today. That's definitely the, the main goal, is to um, bump down some of the weight on uh, my fully assisted repeaters. Uh, I want to go from like 20 pounds taken off to like 15 pounds taken off on the one arms, because I think that would uh, display some obvious like growth, you know, which would be pretty sweet. But nonetheless. We just go with the flow and try hard anyways. Yeah, very, very excited. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it is very early. So early that like, woke up and my eyes were burning and I was nauseous. You, you guys ever get that? It sucks. It was like, it was like the same kind of early where you like wake up in the middle of the night and you just have to like drink an entire bottle of water. <laughs> you know, they don't know, know that, but you wake up and you've never been this thirsty in your entire life. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I was like, I need water bad. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Really excited for training. Um, yeah, I've been really, really psyched for like outdoor climbing. I think, um, I'm trying not to let that like bleed through my training because because if I do that then like even when I'm like training inside all I can think about is like oh man I wish I was outdoors right now oh, man I wish I was trying the project but yeah I, I need a healthy balance with both of them because the training inside is going to be strong enough to, to go outside you know you know yeah. <laughs> but yeah especially after sending that 10 last week it just got it just got me super super psyched I've got a few projects in mind I definitely want to do Reservoir Dogs at some point. I don't know if that's going to be the main goal for now. At the ball, the main goal, I'm, I'm going to try to, I want to look at Tilt to Tension. That one doesn't look too bad for me. Uh, it's, a, it's a 10. And um, yeah, I want something I can put down like relatively quickly, I think. I don't know if I want to track Kamikaze. Like, don't get me wrong, it looks like a super, super cool line, but like at the same time, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I'll have trouble with that one because it looks really committing, you know? Uh, so, it, Kamikaze is definitely a maybe. I 
also at some point want to go up to the Camelot boulders, which is at the cliff line, and try Geodude and Ecologic. Uh, those two, Geodude looks amazing, but Ecologic looks hard for the green. Like it looks hard. Um, but I don't know, I still want to try them at some point. Those will have to be like a, I do it in like one session kind of thing though, because hiking up to the cliff line is freaking horrible. It takes forever. And I, you know, it's, doing that to like project, it would be kind of awful. So, like one or two sessions at the most, I think. I say that, but if I, if I had like one day where I had a heartbreaker, it, you know, there's nothing stopping me from going back up that hill, you know? You know? <laughs> yeah, so I want to try those two. Um, what else is there? Self-inflicted at some point, but I kind of don't like Victor that. I don't know. I'll have to see about that one, too. I think the next one I'm going to try is Tilted Tension. And then I'll be, if I'm in the middle boulders, I might as well go up to Camp along, you know, near the central boulders. Yeah. Yep. And then after that, I think I'm going to try to get an FA at Big Rock. There's a couple boulders I want to try. Uh, there's this. There's one called the Big Guppy Project in the guidebook. I don't know why they call it, but yeah. Might try that one. Um, there's a really hard boulder at the summit. That the projected grade. Oh, excuse me. The, the projected grade is somewhere between B10 and B12. So I'm going to look at that one for sure. Then there's one on the uh, boulder trail that looks. Like the boulder itself looks really cool. Well, it's just my main selling point for wanting to try that one. It's somewhere between between B10 and B11, which is pretty sick. So I definitely want to try that one. Um, yeah, V11s in the future. I took a look at Acro Idiots while I was uh, when I was out with Grant a couple, last week. No, week before last week. Um, Acro Idiots, it looks hard, but the holds look like, they didn't look that bad. They all look like 20 mil edges. I wonder like, why it's so hard. Like why it's hard enough to get V11 and then possibly V12. You know, that, that, that's pretty insane. Maybe it's like super, super polished and it's just hard to hold on to them. I don't know. But looking at the holds definitely got me psyched. Because it didn't look as bad as I thought it would. Yeah. Um, so I'm definitely gonna try that one. I think I'm gonna do Dreamland first, though. So it's just like classic V11 involved. So you gotta try it. And um, yeah, the first move is a crux. I'm gonna do that for sure. Do the whole thing. You know, I say that, but I mean it's V11. You know. <laughs> yeah. And then. Yeah, I want to do the low start to the 10 I did last week, uh, Agnostic Splendor and the Ignorant Mind. I want to do um, the Atheist, for sure. And that one honestly might be my first 11, because I, I'm so close on it already, you know. I might as well. Yeah. And, well. And then after that, you know, I don't see why I shouldn't project a V12. Just gotta look at one and see it. See how I like it. Yeah. All right. I think that's about it. Um, when I get to the bald, because I'll be with some other people, I don't think I'll have a lot of time to like talk to the camera. Just because like I don't want to be rude to them. You know. Yeah. I have to like sneak away and do that. But I would definitely like to. I like. I've I've liked having a vlog. It's it's actually kind of nice. It's like when I'm bouldering outside, it makes it less boring, you know? Not that it's like bouldering outside's boring, it's just like, I definitely wish I had someone to talk to. Just having a camera I can talk to actually kind of helps. Yeah. I don't know what that's about, but it's, it's, it's helpful and it makes me enjoy being outside more, so. Or enjoy being outside by myself more. 
which is something that you frequently have to do when you're projecting hard things, you know, or at least frequently I have to do. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, I think I'm going to go for now. Yeah. Um, just drive the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will see you guys at the boulders. Good. I think I need to keep That's my really hand. Really good. I think I need to keep my hand here. I bumped okay. down to this because I thought it would be better. Gotcha. But not bad. Nice, dude. That's okay. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know, you know of all the. I don't know everything. Shane, you do no wrong. <laughs> nice. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, you slapped it a little right. Yeah. I felt good though. That's awesome, dude. Huh. Yes, yes, come on, Chaney. Come on. That's fun. Oh, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to go for it, but that was good. Yeah. It's giving me crap. Come on, dude. Come on. Yes. Okay. Starting to go for it now. Yeah. Maybe you just like as an intermediate. Yeah. Right, come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Ooh, how did that feel? It was okay. I was really, really squeezing. Huh. But. Come on. You got this. You've done this a lot. Yes. Nice. Come on. So strong. So strong. Come on. So many times. Yes, come on. You know the baby. Yes, come on. Beat you. Come on. Get it. Yes, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep it. Oh. Dude. I was slipping. Dude, that looked so good. From the bottom. Ouch. <laughs> oh, you were almost there, dude. That, that was, was really awesome. Close. Heck yeah. Yes, dude. Go for it. Come on. Focus. Tyler. There you go. You got it. You got it. Yes. Come on. Come on. Get that foot. Yes, you've got this, dude. You've got it. A little no. Yes. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't get it. Yeah. Ooh, I thought you landed like right in between them and like hit your hand. <coughs> that knocked the breath out of me a little bit. Oh, but... sorry. Yeah, that's, no, that it's, was good. I hit the rock on the way down. <laughs> yeah. The rock under there? No, I just like to oh, shoot. be a rat. Dang. Dude, that looks good though. Oh, I had that. I really tried to go for it. If I, held, if I got my fingers any more on it, I would have had it. Dang. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> I did get it. <laughs> dude. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> you need to make sure you didn't, like, bruise a rib or something. <sighs> my, <laughs> I definitely felt like the wind was knocked out of me. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> Get some abs. <sighs> I didn't feel it until I was right here. I was like, I, there's no breath in my lungs. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I'll show the camera. Heck yeah. Woo. All right, what's up, guys? Um, outdoor climbing was cut a little bit short today because I kind of got injured. 
I will talk a little bit more about it at, at the end of the video. Yeah. I'll even show you what happened. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, let's just get to training. I'm going to do some hangboard exercises. going to do some pulley assisted one arm hangs and then some weighted repeaters. I've got to up the weight to 65 pounds uh, today, which is going to be quite heinous, but hopefully we can push through. <laughs> 65 pounds isn't 98.8 pounds, so sounds a bit nicer to me. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. <sighs> What's up guys? Um, we're to the end of the video. Today's video is, it's probably pretty short, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably pretty short. Um, I went outside this morning and 
we, me and Matt, we climbed a good bit. I didn't end up recording like anything. I recorded some attempts on French Maid before we stopped climbing. Um, I actually stopped climbing because I kind of got injured. Injured in quotation marks. I was at the very top of French Maid. I was like about to send. I was reaching for the hand and uh, like the last handhold before it's over and my foot just like slipped off it was very late in the day so the rock was really really grimy and like slippery so I, the whole time we were trying i was slipping and sliding like everywhere and there was just no friction so like you know i'm at the top of the rock i have no chalk left on my hands <laughs> it's all gone and yeah i just end up slipping off and because i was at the top there's, uh, I was a little bit over the arete, and when I slipped off, I ended up hitting my, my like ribs on the arete on the way down. And it knocked the breath out of me. Like I got down and I started coughing like kind of uncontrollably because it, it hurt so bad. And I, was, I was sitting there and I was like, there's, there's no breath in my lungs right now. <laughs> you know, it was gone. Um, I'll actually show you real quick. Right there. Yeah. It's pretty gnarly. Like, it actually, like, it bruised instantly after it happened. It was nuts. I definitely hit it pretty hard. I might have, like, bruised a rib or something, but I, I don't know. I tried to give it a couple more attempts afterwards, but, like, I found my chest to be, like, really tight. And it was kind of hurting. So I decided to call it and try to train later, which is what I ended up doing. I actually had a pretty good training session. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of glad that I didn't really get to like try super super hard this morning. I just kind of got to like climb around and experiment some stuff because it ended up meaning that my like hangboarding was better. Um, I don't think it's like 100% as good as it could have been, but I think it was better for sure. Yeah, and that's kind of like an epiphany that I need to maybe focus more on hangboarding than climbing outside. Maybe I don't know. Or maybe find a way to climb outside on a different day so that way I can still have like my outdoor day because I, I do like like projecting and climbing other things outside. That's you know the whole reason I'm training. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that while still like saving energy to hangboard. Because I feel like that's like the that's like the thing that's getting me the strongest right now for sure. I need to focus all of my energy into it, you know. Yeah, and so training is a lot of trial and error, just, you know, learning and trying to improve. But yeah, I, I'd say regardless, pretty good day. It definitely sucks that I hit my ribs on my, what was supposed to be my sin go <laughs> of French made, but I'm not, man, I'm, I'll, I'll get it next time and my ribs will be recovered. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely hurt though. Yeah, it was, it was nasty. Oof yeah um i had a pretty good training session today felt really strong on the hangboard and got a climbing workout afterwards which was nice i was going to try to climb a little bit more but after i got done with my weighting repeaters i was pretty much done my forearms were gassed yeah so just worked out and decided to call it yeah good day good day um next time i go outside i should probably be alone so um vlogs or um that we have more time to like vlog and stuff which is which is gonna be cool because i really enjoy doing it when i'm like climbing outside with other people it's hard to vlog it just because like i don't know you're in the moment more i guess it and it feels weird to like be with someone and then just like stop and talk to the camera for like five minutes and then get back to whatever you're doing uh, maybe i'm just overthinking it. i definitely have an issue with overthinking stuff yeah. yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'll see you guys Wednesday for some board climbing. Yeah. All right.